Malone stunt double in gay sex tapes. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Tom Grimm, and I'm proud to present the Roast of Tim Jones. This show took place on July 24th, 2021 at the Front Street Cellar in downtown Fargo. Let me introduce L.C. Arthur. This fella is a big, big, big time star. L.C.'s impressive comedy career is what legends were made of. A collection of stories that only a child could believe were true. A few of the comedians are still recovering in the burn ward. You can donate to their relief funds by sending me money on Venmo. Visit TomGrimm.com slash tip job. I don't know about you, but I am completely aroused by this. You don't want to know how I buttered the popcorn. Please enjoy the roast of Tim Jones. Two pounds of brisket and coleslaw <laughs> into a piece of cheesy fry bread. <laughs> but one thing he never did wrap was a birthday present. You guys, bring some food for LC Everybody, give it up for Prince Marky D from the Fat Boys. Give it up for him. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can't tell by listening to him, RK is black. <laughs> Talks like a white dude, looks like a Puerto Rican. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But he's light skinned, really light skinned. Actually, with him and Ethan here, they're actually both afraid to say the N word in front of real black people. <laughs> Ethan Peterson's here, give it up for Ethan. Yeah. And also give it up that we found the only black dude in America named Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's Facebook has his former place of employment as a pole cleaner at the uh, North Gen uh, Northern's Gentleman's Club. <laughs> but then he got fired for using his tongue. <laughs> Like everybody else here, I know nothing else about you. I just know you look like micro with Down syndrome. <laughs> Jen Severson is back. Give it up for Jen. Thank you, Jen, Jen has been transitioning lately. Uh, I found this out the hard way one day. Uh, I was at a bar, a local bar here, the Bismarck, and I go into the bathroom. And who do I see coming out of the stall? But Jan Silverson, which caught me by surprise. She didn't have got a penis yet or anything. Not a mustache, penis, not even a falsy, not a wizenator. It's like, you can't wait till you get the wizenator or something to get in there. But she found out that night, though, why no dudes use the stall in a bar bathroom. <laughs> Eric Hendrickson is here. Eric Hendrickson, give it up for him. <laughs> Eric looks like Post Malone stunt double in gay sex tapes. <laughs> if you don't know, Eric is one of the first comedians in Fargo to catch the coronavirus. And Jenna <laughs> at the same bar. <laughs> Shout out to the Empire. <laughs> John Kennedy is here. John Kennedy. Give it up for John Kennedy. Oh, is that Justin Bieber? What the fuck? Where's John Kennedy? There he is. There's John Kennedy. I'm a believer, baby. Uh, Kennedy's throughout history have been presidents, senators, Rich Playboys. This one tells jokes at small uh, Taco Bells all throughout North Dakota. <laughs> Sorry, it was Greenville. Greenville, I think it was one of those. Greenville. Sorry, I, I get them all mixed up. 
<laughs> Way to keep the legacy alive. <laughs> J.P. Martin is here. J.P. J.P. has been doing comedy in the area for a few years now, which answers the question. Whatever happened to that skinny dude from Good Burger? <laughs> J.P. is what Waka Flocka would look like if he couldn't rap. <laughs> Jay Shredder's still alive. Jay Shredder, get up with Jay. I haven't seen Chase in a while. If you haven't seen Chase Shredder's comedy, it's either dark comedy about suicide or a desperate cry for help. <laughs> I asked Chase one day what his biggest influence was, and he said it was Robin Williams' belt. <laughs> every time I see him, not because I respect him, but I'm checking for cut marks. <laughs> Fargo's favorite phone brokers in here, David Standall. Give it up for David. Great set, David. David's what it looked like if the History Channel did Pawn Stars in Mumbai. <laughs> like and I tell him to buy a Russell Peters DVD at the dollar store <laughs> or his pawn shop. I do find it ironic though that David started going by the All-American during the Trump administration. <laughs> it's a good way to get deported. John Merrill's here. John, give it up for John. Woo! John's only doing comedy until his professional yo-yo career takes off. <laughs> I seen him at the Fargo Street Fair, he made $14.38. And that was from his mom. When I first met John, I didn't actually believe that this four foot Asian dude was named John Narum. I thought this is the worst witness relocation plan ever. But John and David here in Fargo, it looks like Harold and Kumar fell on some hard times. But now to the man of the hour, Tim Jones, everybody, give it up. Tim has a unique style of dressing. He looks like a broke pimp. <laughs> All the best clothes Wish.com has to offer. <laughs> Tim, Jones, Tim Jones' beard is so gray, his old lady says when he gets out of the shower, he looks like a half-smoked cigar. <laughs> On the comedy scene, we started almost at the same time, about 10 years, 11 years ago. And I remember watching Tim sets and laughing at all the jokes. I remember laughing at the first time I heard him. On Tim's comedy jam on HBO. <laughs> Which really, really upset me. That means white people don't watch deaf comedy jam. <laughs> the biggest jokes that Tim has ever wrote is about going to chicken hell and being tortured by the ghosts of his dinner's past. <laughs> and another one about taking a shit with his dick on hard. <laughs> but at his age right now, it's probably a pleasant fucking memory. <laughs> but to be real, I've known Tim Jones for now for many years. He's always had my back. Never had a bad word to say about me. Always when I see him, he comes up with a smile. Never have no flat. And whenever I throw a comedy show, I have one motherfucking person in mind that's ever gonna be my closer. Will Spotted Bear. <laughs> <laughs> but when he can't do it, I'm calling my motherfucking friend. And the closer is Tim motherfucking Jones. Yeah. Hey, thanks for sticking around until the very end. And an extra special thanks to all the comedians that were at this roast. If you'd like to see more of their videos, check out the playlist down at the corner. Also, if you got a few seconds, subscribe to my channel. You know, I'm uh, not really sure what I'm going to do next. But I'm going to get out of this circle someday. <laughs>